Okay, well, let's see here. Here we have a blog everyone was expecting, honestly. The Witching Hour, the Halloween event for 2024. Dun, dun, dun. Which, okay, uh, it doesn't list any activities that aren't part of the event from last year. So they didn't add any new ways to earn progress. So, you know, same old stuff as usual. Bring your Davidian uh, devices because you're going to need them. And so on and so forth. So, what are the rewards? Well, the usual, of course, three XTFO reward boxes and a b bunch of Dilithium more for whichever character claims it or whatnot. Um, primary reward. Beowulf's Blade. Big old two-handed sword that um, looks cool in a video game sword kind of way. See, this is one of those things where I look at this and, and because of the fact that they made it so pseudo-realistic, my brain goes into legit sword uh, critique mode and uh, skips with the sci-fi nonsense aspect of it and just goes straight to the uh, thoughts about real-world sword design. So, I'll be, try to make it quick. The guard here is actually very, it's a very simplistic one. It's the sort of thing you don't normally see on fantasy swords because it's boring. But, hey, you know what? Boring works when it's a weapon you're expecting to actually use and not something you have as a status symbol. The leather wrapping, the style of leather wrap here honestly looks like a single layer of leather, which is a bit weird for a sword handle, but yeah, it's a, it is a thing that does exist. The texturing, realistically, sword handles should have texture. You don't want it to slip in your grip. So having uh, little ridges like this is actually very common on sword handles so that you have something to uh, hold on to. Now, one thing that's strange about this is this taper here. Because a taper like this is going to make your hands tend to slide towards the pommel, which is not necessarily a good thing. Because, again, it could throw off your grip when you're wielding the sword. And the pommel of this one isn't particularly large. It's a style of pommel that is obviously meant to help uh, prevent your hand from sliding off the back of the uh, grip, but um, it's barely large enough. Yeah, anyway though, another thing with this is the way that the fuller is ground. And like the, the actual blade geometry here is kind of weird too, but um, the fuller is, is the part that caught my attention more because they made the fuller really, really thin, like pencil thin. It, no one does fullers that way. I mean, people would actually just like have the fuller get um, shallower, but stay around the same width as they got towards uh, the uh, tip. And then there's this point where it just doesn't have a fuller anymore as it gets uh, closer to the tip. They usually wouldn't make a really, really narrow fuller like this. That's, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that it's weird. Anyway, though, the actual blade geometry is... Um, hmm, having the angled tip like this, but also having it uh, ground smooth is, again, something people could do, but it feels weird. Eh, and honestly, that's a, a, all I can ha think of for a critique here. The, well, okay, there is one last thing. The texture of the metal in the blade is... It honestly looks tarnished. Like it's um, an alloy that has been exposed to the elements and um, built up a layer of patina on it. And it isn't, you know, clean. It's like dirty and stained or something. Anyway, let's move on.
Um, so, um, it, this sword has some sort of a finisher system to it that I'm going to have to tinker with later because, of course, I'm going to get this and uh, actually use it. Um, that'll be, I don't know, about two weeks from now. Hmm, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely post the video about two weeks from now. Anyways, um, giving enemies a damage resistance rating debuff when you do combo moves on them does sound interesting. And having a uh, lunge attack where you uh, jump towards your enemies sounds nice. Which is a tertiary on this one and not a, a side effect of using the primary or the secondary. Another thing about this is that it mentions that it's a two-handed sword, which suggests that it has a different animation rig than most swords you have in Star Trek Online, and that intrigues me. Um, I'm going to have to experiment with that later, because this blog doesn't do anything other than mention that it exists. Uh, speaking of things that the blog doesn't mention, why are there six cat pictures and um, no explanation of how to get something other than the one that actually looks like grudge. These are basically just uh, palette swaps. Normal Maine Coon color, um, weird things. Okay, so Maine Coons can have their coat pattern be a uh, gray tab, which this is relatively close to what you would expect for a normal gray tabby on a Maine Coon. This is what you would have if it's what's called a dilute tabby. It's just a genetic quirk that makes the colors fainter than they would otherwise be. This is a very dark variant. It's not like fully black though, which is a bit weird. Uh, I guess it's something that could exist, but eh, whatever. Tan colored coats are also a thing with uh, Maine Coons. Rare, honestly. Spotted ones are far more common. You can find uh, Maine Coons that have like uh, brown and tan spots all over them or patches. Well, okay, female Maine Coons. Male ones, not so much because for whatever reason, that's a, a X chromosome linked trait. Anyways, red, no, that's not a natural color for cats. This is weird in, in how dark it is because it has the normal color pattern. It has like the little white around the mouth and stuff. It's not a fully melanistic one. It's just really, really dark. Weird, but not, you know, completely ridiculous. This, I don't know if that's even... A, a thing you'll ever see in real cats. Whatever. Um, oh, actually, that's another thing I noticed. Is that its paws are almost black. That's also strange. That, that, that's the thing you'll notice here. Is like the, the, the paws are a slightly different color than the rest of them. Um, but like on the other ones, it's something that doesn't stick out. Here it sticks out a bit more because it's just that much darker than Huh. Uh, realistically, like the uh, way that these uh, textures on the cat are set up probably uses a different texture file for the feet than the rest of the cat. Um, oh well. Okay, anything else? More, anything? Oh yeah, it starts on October 17th. So, we know when it's going to begin. And yeah, that's Thursday this week. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I will uh, see you guys later because, let's face it, um, that's all there is in this blog. Oh yeah, also, it's like the theoretical amount of dilithium you can get from this one isn't actually all that great because of the fact that this one you will only be able to collect for Yeah, I think about like one week. <laughs> like uh, it's a good like one week of bonus in this one. That's it. Oh well. All right, see you guys later.